God, Kim, uh, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our praise and glory and honor due unto Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and prophets. And no respect to the brother that teaches truth all over the globe. And uh, the, title, well, the title of this lesson, you know, it, it's going to come from an article that I read, you know, that I ran down from uh, RT News. You know, go ahead and get into the uh, article. The article says that uh, Tehran will commit to an all-out war if Iran is targeted by military strike, FM uh, Zarif warns. And, you know, uh, if you are keeping up with news events and, and uh, prophecies, you know, this is part of this, this is part of, of prophecy also that all these nations are going to come together and they're going to uh, fight in the battle of Jehoshaphat, you know, and yeah, I will, I'm going to get that later. And getting on with the article, it reads, any military attacks on Iran will result in a serious military conflict. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammed Javad Zarif has warned and the U.S. is as the U.S. and Saudi Arabia hit at retaliation measures for a drone strike they blame on Tehran. And we, and we all know, if, if you are in the spirit, you all know that uh, Esau is behind a lot of propaganda that goes on. And, um, and one thing about Esau, you know, if he wants something in your country, you know, he's going to do, do it by any means to try to get your resources in that country. And, and, and uh, Esau has known a lot. You know, he known a lot. And he's trying to uh, say that uh, the Iranians, you know, basically was the one that uh, attacked, uh, you know, Saudi Arabia, you know, attacked their oil field. And they trying to blame on Tehran and said, that, trying to blame on, on Tehran, you know, which are the Iranians. You know, saying that they did it pretty much. You know, continue on. Uh, the uh, prime, the uh, basically the minister. You know, he, you know, uh, he says that I'm making a very serious threat uh, statement that we we don't want to engage in military confrontation, but we want Blake to defend our territory. Zarif told CNN in an interview on Thursday. Zarif told the network that. Any military strike based on the false pre uh, premises that Iran was behind the recent attack on, on, on a Saudi oil facility will cause a lot of casualties, leading to an all-out war. And they what and they what this is all about. You know, this is all about the uh, you know uh, U.S. want to get the uh, get the uh, oil fields over there, man. It, it's all about greed. But, you know, we're going to get to that a little later if you're how willing. It said, his remarks come as Washington and, and uh, real dog, real dog ratchet up rhetoric aimed at Iran following a suspected drone and missile attack on a major Saudi oil facility. The kingdom has claimed that, that Iranian-made weapons were used in the strike. But Tehran had denied any involvement. The, the Houthi rebels in Yemen currently trying to repair a Saudi-led invasion had claimed responsibility for the operation. So basically, what what this uh, article is saying that the U.S. and and the other country is blaming uh, Yemen, you know, slash Iran, you know, blaming them for the attack. And they said, and, and basically, they saying that uh, you know. Uh, Iranian uh, Prime Minister saying that he had he denies any involvement with the attack because we know that uh, that uh, Esau Edom you know they they love, they uh, form both sides of the war man you know by these elites they form both sides of the war and, and, and all of it is about greed and it's about control and if you understand uh, prophecy and for those who are waking up you know you got the uh, you have to look beyond a lot of, of the lies that uh, Esau loved to put out. And the first scripture 
uh, that comes to mind about, you know, the lives of Esau is Psalm 50, chapter 58. You know, John, Psalm chapter 58. And, uh, uh, like it. Psalm 58 and, uh, 3. It, re it reads, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They they go astray soon as they be born, speak of lies. And and the and what uh these devil do, they, they know to speak lies. they they'll say one thing and then they'll do something else. You know, they, like they saying that uh Iran is uh is the one that uh, struck the Saudi Arabia or uh, oil facility. But we all know that Esau Edom is behind it, you know, in some shape, form or fashion, he behind you know these attack why because if he can't get if he can't get uh, what he want he's gonna make sure nobody else get it and how he do that he goes in and he destroys because of Revelation chapter uh, I believe it's six and four you know let me get that real quick you know because you know uh, he, you know if he has power to take up uh, peace from the earth. You know, that's, uh, let me get get it real quick. Revelation six and four. It said they went out another horse that was red, and uh, and power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, and they were given to him a great sword. And right, you know, he saw Edom. You know, they know to take peace from the earth, and, and they take peace by any means necessary, and they take these oil fields on. You know your resource by any means necessary. You know they. You know that um, everybody know that Esau Edom a uh, uh, blessing is the soil. You can read that in uh, Genesis chapter twenty-seven, verses forty. You know that his that he takes peace from the earth and how he do it. He does it with the sword. You know, and and, uh, and all the things that he does, he all, all stuff they do. He takes. Uh, you know he takes. Uh, uh, peace from the earth, you know, he used to the sword. And, you know, they know the speed lies, and how they speed lies, they speed lies through their media. You know, they use the media to propagate the lies and to, you know, flip the story how they want to flip it, all the news articles. You know, they, they'll they take the news articles and, and they go in and they flip flip the story how they want to flip it, you know. And who's in charge of, of the uh, news article? Who's in charge of all the media? You know the uh, uh, you know the Amalekites. You know the uh, you know like the the uh, the, Jew, the Jewish uh, elites. You know the elites. They are in charge of the news media. You know they go around. And they flip the stories. You know they go around flipping to make it seem as though that the other countries are terrorists. You know Esau Edom is the main terrorist. You know everybody knows that man. Everybody knows that he's a terrorist. That he goes around. And he he uh he lies for no apparent reason. You know, he goes around and 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 destroys countries and stuff like that and he takes, you know, all your resources. You know, continuing on verse four he said that poison like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf eye that stop her ear, which are not hearken to voice of charm was charming them so wisely. And 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 these you know, these devils, man, they, they like to lie. About certain things, just, just like they lied about 9/11, uh, saying that uh, that uh, Iraq was the one that uh, that went in and attacked, uh, you know, Twin Towers. Well, it was an inside job, man. Everybody know that. And then they want you to uh, sub, uh, to remember 9/11. You know why we want to remember? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Why we want to remember 9/11? And you know, you there was the one that. Uh, that orchestrated and you you was the one that set up a uh, controlled demolition. You know, you did all these things and then you turn around you want us to remember nine eleven. And remember, you know, you said you know, you said that you lied to us. You know, you lied to the people. But well, which we all know Psalms fifteen three basically said the wicked are estranged from the womb. They'll go astray soon as they be born speaking lies. And that's what they doing with this uh, article, you know, about uh about uh, Iran, they they, they they saying that Iranian uh, was you know was the one that uh, uh you know that started all this. They they were trying to say they was the one that won the 
the uh, Saudi Arabia oil facility, which we know Esau Edom is behind. And also, you have by Shimei Hasha and using, you know, Israel and these countries to draw the uh, U.S. Because the scripture said, the least of the flock should draw them out. You know, they they, they are the ones that join join out. Uh, you know, they join out the uh, U.S. to cut the. Uh, come down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, you know, and that's where the war is going to take place at the uh, war Armageddon, you know, as, as they call them, because they, you know what I'm saying, they, uh, the, uh, the Israelites, you know, the uh, Israelis over there are going to be the ones that y'all, they put the uh, United States into this war, you know, and we know Esau Edom doesn't have enough, you know, they want to take all the resources, they want the oil field and everything else. The scripture that backs it up is uh, 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 Jeremiah the 49th chapter, you know, starting at the ninth verse. It reads, If grape gatherers come to thee, would, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If these come by night, would they, they will destroy them until they have enough. But I made Esau bear, and I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His uh, his seed is poor, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. And you know, in verse nine, it's it's the point. You know, they 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 will never have enough. You know, you know they will never have enough. They're gonna continue to uh, you know rape, rob, murder. They're gonna do what they have to do in order to uh, get those resources. And and they gonna like I said before, they're gonna try to get them resources by any means necessary. And you know, how about Shimi Shai is, is uncovering the, the lies and the hypocrisy of Esau. You know, he you know he, he uncovering his secret places. You know, you know just like the Illuminati. You know, they you know they uh, uh being is being exposed. You know, every time every time they try to do their you know they do, uh the the uh secret council. You know, the Most High is exposing them, man. You know, he's exposing what they're doing. And, and with the time now that you know Esau uh, is, is uh, being revealed, you know he's being revealed on on a high level. You know that's the reason why he wants to shut down. You know the internet. He wants to shut down. You know the brothers' pages. Uh, you know he, when the brother do videos, he he messing with the live stream. He does all that because the truth is getting out. And and, and uh Esau and uh, Esau hate that this truth is getting out because guess what? It exposed everything, you know, that he's doing. You know, it that it's both it exposed uh, all the wickedness that he has uh propagated here on the earth. You know, everybody knows that uh you know it's like it. You know, everybody knows uh you know uh uh Job nine twenty four, you know, it reads that the that the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. You know, he covered the face of the judge though, if not where who is he? And we all know that the you know, Slock, we all know that the um, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. You know, my apology, my you know, uh Slock for a minute. We all know that the earth is given uh, to to uh, we all know that the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Know the hand of uh, you know, the most high to allow uh, Esau Edom to rule the, rule the world, you know, if he does it with the sword. So, uh, you know, it's like But yeah, getting back, get, you know, getting back on point, that uh, uh, Esau, it, you know, he wants a resource, man. And uh, if you're going to do anything by any means necessary, you know, to get those, get those resources, you know, that's that what he wants, he, he wants that oil field, you know, he, want, he wants the oil field over there in Saudi Arabia, and, and uh, Saudi Arabia is starting out to really deal with the uh, U.S. like that, because they, they know the trickery of the United States, man, they know the trickery of Esau Eden, and, and they know he'll use, uh, he'll use lies of propaganda to try to get what he wants. And a lot of these countries, they start to uh, uh, turn their back on Israel. And uh, they 
Revelation chapter 17, verse 16 and 17. And I'm finna get that scripture real quick. You know, so like, you know, I didn't write, you know, write this scripture down. Go ahead and just drag it out, you know, for edification purposes. chapter uh, 17 is like it's 17 and uh, 16 degrees and the ten horns which I saw us upon the beast these shall hate the whore and make and make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire for Yahweh had put in their heart to fulfill his will and to agree and to get a keep them unto the beast unto the words of Yahweh shall be shall be fulfilled and that one which thou sawest that is a great city which reigned over the kings of the earth. If you read old, uh, Revelation chapter 17, it's talking about America, Babylon, and the Great. You know, but I wanted to get that uh, the last three uh, verses on uh, Revelation chapter 17 to bring out the point. Because all these other nations are starting to turn on Babylon and the Great. You know, because they see uh, uh, the treachery and they see the wickedness. That uh, this, this country had done. You know, they see that the country, you, uh, this country, and also the Israelis, they use their media to demonize these other uh, countries and saying that they're the terrorists. But come, come re uh, reality that, that the United States and, uh, and the Israelis, they're the terrorists, man. They're going in, taking land that they shouldn't be taking, you know, taking country that they shouldn't be taking. Like you got the Israelis over there, they're taking, uh, uh, you know, they're taking, uh, you know, uh, the, Pal the land of the Palestinians, which you know that the land don't belong to any one of them anyway, but they belong to, uh, to the true uh, Israelites. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. But the most high is going to uh, draw uh, America and these other countries out to his war. Defend our land, defend our home. And 
they say that you come over here, it's going to be an all-out war. And, but we already know that uh, uh, that this war is going to be a nuclear war. And I'm going to read that before I continue on with Jeremiah, uh, not Jeremiah, Joel uh, 3, 3 and 9, or uh, 3 and 10. We'll go get a quick scripture that proves that this is going to be an all-out war. Uh, this is going to be a nuclear war. And this is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 5. It reads, for every battle, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be the burning and with fuel fu to fire. And this is talking about that uh, all the battles back then, you know, you had all, uh, it was, uh, you know, that it was, uh, uh, you know, it was confused noise and garments rolled in blood, which is basically talking about, you know, when they, when they have a war, you know, it was hand-to-hand -hand combat. You know, you had the warriors uh, would run down, they would use the ass, you know, metal clanking on metal. You know, people, uh, uh, body parts getting chopped up, and, and, and uh, people's heads were getting cut off. You know, that's based how the battle was fought. You know, and, 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 you know, at time progresses, you know, they, they use cannons, and they use, uh, uh, you know, they use, and everything else, and, 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 and uh, you know, so on and so forth. But this war, World War Three, you know, this World War Three is going to be an all-out nuclear war. It's going to start off physical, but it start off with trade wars. You know, it's starting off with a lot of trade wars, but it's going to soon later, it's going to get physical. And then after, then after a while, you how about Shima and Shai going to this uh, war to, to be nuclear? It's going to turn into Talk about the ICBFs and them uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles. You know they're gonna be start shooting missiles, and the main place that's gonna be targeted in, in this attack is gonna be America by Brown the Great, because uh, this country ain't been haven't been judged for all the stuff that they have done. Let me be out there nine five again. This is for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and with and fuel fire. And then, like I said before, it's talking about it's, it's basically talking about the nuclear war. And, uh, it, and this is how World War Three is going to be fought. In the Book of Revelation, it said that the uh, second world of war is past, and behold, the third war is coming quickly. The third war coming quickly, and war means uh, you know destruction. You know world wars. You know you had three wars. You had the first world war. Came and went. The second one came and went, and the third one's coming quicker. And this, and this uh, World War Three is going to be a nuclear war. And you know, you got, you got all these nations. You know, they are, uh, you know, you know, they, they starting to ramp up. And Most High is going to bring all these nations together in the uh, Valley of Jehoshaphat, and, and he's going to do work down there. You know, continue, continue on, getting back to uh, Joel chapter three, verse ten. It reads, be, be your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into, spe into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. And, and the right, you know, the weak, you know, you got all the other nations, they build up their nuclear uh, capability. You know, because like, you know, they, and they pound their chest. And, and they and they turn America, tell America, come on, bring it. You know, and that's the same way with uh, Iran. Iran basically told that you, you tackle, get what? going to bring the noise, you know what I'm saying, we don't want to bring the noise, but we tack our own land, we're going to do what we got to do, you know, you, you know what I'm saying, you basically telling uh, the U.S., you know, you don't want this smoke, because the other nations, they used to fear America, they used to fear this power of America, you know, what America could do, but now uh, these other nations ain't scared of America no more, they basically telling, you know, America to bring the noise. You, know, you attack us, get what? We're gonna attack you. You know, plain and simple. And, and, and that's the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah is putting it on these people to uh, uh, to go ahead and get this party started. You know, per se, because because these, these countries they really don't want war. But you know, spirit Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, you gonna put a spirit on them to cause them to make, uh, that, uh, to uh, go into an all-out war. And, and, and most high have controversy with Esau Edom. He has 
uh, beef with, uh, you know, America, Babylon, the Great, because of what they had done to the most high child for people. But continue on. Uh, verse 10, it reads, Be, be your postures and to swords and your pruning hooks to, to spirits, that the we say, I am strong. It says, Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Then it cause the mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. Let the, let the heathen be weakened and coming up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. There will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. And that's what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to do. He, 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 all the heathen, you know, fever hearted, you know, they weak. The Most High is going to put the spirit upon them to have the strength to go down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, you know, and, 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 you know to uh, join the battle. And guess what? You how you how about Shim Hao is gonna use all the weapon they nuclear capabilities and he's gonna judge these heathen nations for what they have done, you know, to uh the most high chosen people. And and they have to pay, you know, for for uh stuff that they did to the chosen people. You know, reading Psalms the eighty third chapter, verse one through eight, all the other nations that joined together and they wanna cut off the name of Israel. You know, all of them had a part, play, uh, uh, a part in our slavery, a part in scattering us. You get what? And, and they got to pay for that. And how they gonna pay for that? In this, in this uh, World War, uh, World War Three, and also in the kingdom, they gonna have to pay for slavery. You know, hard for slavery. But you know, this last scripture, I mean, that's gonna be, you know, the end of the lesson. Uh, if you how willing, you know, Joel chapter two. I'm going to go ahead and start at verse 2. It reads, no, I'm going to start at the top. It reads, blow, uh, this is verse 1. It reads, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of Yahweh cometh, for it's not at hand. And, and, and the day of Yahweh is near. And you see all the signs around about, you know, Yahweh. By Shimmy uh, Shah is visiting in the world that which he had made. You know, he how he visiting, he's visiting with the with the signs and the plague. You see all all the destruction that's coming up coming upon the earth. And you see uh Yahweh by Shimmy Shah guys get prophets out there prophesying. So every time that the uh, prophet, uh, the prophets are risen up to go and to prophesy, you know, they spell the end they, they spell the end for these other nations, man. They spell the end of, 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 the, of this uh, current kingdom, which this kingdom now belongs to Esau Edom. But getting back to the point, uh, verse 2, it reads, A day of darkness and gloomness, a, a day of clouds and, and of thick darkness, and, and, and uh, slack, as the morning spread upon the mounds, a people, people a great people, and a, a strong day had not been held with the, not held been us to lock it. There had not been ever the light, neither shall there shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire a fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burning, and the land as a garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them, and the appearance of them are as the appearance of Horses and, and their horsemen, they should run. They're talking about the nuclear missiles. Verse 5 it said, Like the noise of chariots on the tops of the mountain, they shall leap, and, and the noise of, of a flame and a fire that devoured the stubble. And as a strong people said in battle of Ray, you know, like I said, force it according to the, uh, what the nuclear missiles are going to do. Verse 6 it said, Before, before they face people shall be pain and our faith shall gather blackness. You know, it's gonna be, you know, people gonna get scared. And then when the nuclear hit, the missiles hit, you know, and, and they're gonna do a lot of destruction. People gonna be, people gonna get scared once the nuclear missiles start to fire off. You know, verse seven, it reads, they shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march everyone on his ways they should not break their ranks and these nuclear missiles 
uh, Yahweh was going to put his spirit upon these nuclear missiles once they fire. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, they're, they're going to hit their target. If well, Yahweh is going to put his spirit on, them, on, on these missiles. So, wait, even, even, let us say all 200 million missiles come over here, you know, come over here and, and want to destroy the U.S. like it prophesied in uh, Revelation. You know, even though the U.S. time, you know, they saying that they got a uh, missile that's going to stop the, stop, uh, you know, all the other missiles that's going to come in, that's going to come and destroy the place, uh, Yahweh is going to put his spirit upon the missiles. So, that way, when if the U.S. try to shoot they, uh, you know, the countermeasures, you know, as they call it, you know, it's not going to do anything. These, it not, these, these missiles not going to break their rank. And they're going to hit their intended target, and they're going to they go destroy this place, you know. And and and, and with all the missiles that U.S. going to shoot, well, well, uh, you how about the same how shot gonna have these missiles to hit? That's where it's going to hit it, and, it, and it's not going to even break their rates, you know. They're going to be shooting missiles. They're going to shoot everything, and it's not going to work. Why? Because the spirit of Yahweh by Shem HaShah is going to be on those missiles, and they're going to destroy They're going to destroy this place. You know, verse 8 says, Neither shall one, one thrust, thrust another. They shall walk everyone in, in his path, and when they shall fall upon his sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall, they shall climb upon the houses, they shall enter in the window like a thief. The earth shall quake before them, the heaven shall tremble, and the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the, and the stars shall withdraw their shining, and the, and the Lord shall utter his force before his army, and before his camp is very great, for he is strong to execute his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very to tell who can abide in it. And, uh, and that talks about, you know, all this nuclear destruction that's going to happen. And uh, once all this nuclear destruction is going to happen, then definitely your house shot is going to return. And he's going to return, he's going to take down Esau Edom. And he's going to uh, take down the other nation, you know, with, you know, with the chariots. You know, he's going to take them down, he's going to destroy, he's going he gonna to destroy you know, the, uh, Esau Edom, he's going to destroy the other nations, and he's going to put them under subjection, and he's going to, uh, you know, he's going to round them up and put them to slavery, and basically, he's going to guide up the whole filet in the chariot first, and then he's going to do do work, uh, 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 he's going to do uh, work with these other nations, especially Esau Edom, he's going to take down his power, and he's going to, you know what I'm saying, the scripture also says in Revelation, you know, they will prepare an hour, a day, a month, and a year to slay the third part of man. That third part, which is going to be Esau Edom. And, and it's, you know, like I said before, this this article is one of, uh, you know, the part of one of many prophecies that, that's going to happen. That, uh, that it's gonna, it, you know, how is going to put a spirit up upon these people to, to uh, start this uh, World War III. Before they happen, we know I already know that those certain things got to take place first. You know, got to have the family of the word. You know that uh, uh, where family of the word is already starting to take place. Well, you know it's going to uh, be Jacob's trouble, which is in uh, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. You, you know they they're uh, going to have you know they going to push the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. You can read that in Revelation chapter 13. I believe mean, around verse uh, 16, 16 to 17, you know, they're, they're going to push this RFID chip. If you don't take the chip, then you, you, you're going to get ostracized from uh, society. Are uh, uh, you going to get killed? You know, they're going to they gonna kill you for not taking the chip. And all this, you know, all, you know, all these, uh, uh, you know, all these back and forth tensions with uh, Iran and the U.S. and Israel, you know, uh, you know, this this is just things to come because your how about Shem Al Shah is gonna is gonna speed things up quickly for for the let's say you know because we say you know for the uh, let's say these days shall be short you know it's gonna be short for the, uh, the let's say because your how about Shem Al Shah and also you can read in Matthew chapter twenty four you know around verse uh, five uh, five you know it 
say it's going to be wars and rumors of wars, see, you be not trouble for all these things going to come to pass, but then, not yet. But all these things that's going on, it, you know, it's prophesied that it's going to come to pass. You know, all these wars and rumors of wars. You know, we hear a lot of wars, you know, you hear rumors of wars, but the Most High is really going to let all this thing to pop off. You know, he's going to allow these people to, to uh, uh, you know, do what they do. And then it's going to come to a point that tension going to be so high that it's going to turn to a nuclear war. It's going to, it's going to turn physical, but then it's going to turn to a nuclear war. You know, that, that's how you hide by Shem HaShah walks. He's going to put spirit upon these people to fight against one another. And, and you see a lot of tension going on with uh, Iran and the U.S. And, you know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, you, go, you got Israel behind the scene because Israel is the one that controls it that's pumping the U.S. to go and to have these tensions with uh, Iran. And, and we know, all know that Esau is behind it, and all of it is because, you know, they want those resources. They want their oil over there in Saudi Arabia, and they're trying to use any means necessary to try to get their oil and try to get their resources. But, you know, that's it for a lesson. You know, I pray that this lesson will edify. I want to say, call the oil, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. By Shimra Hakadash, never understood the apostle, elders, and prophets, and no respect to the brothers teaching the truth all over the globe. You know, see you again with another lesson real soon. Yahweh, Shalom.